All right, so we got Atomic Heart uh, exclusive hands on preview IGN first. Uh, I think I reacted to this trailer before. Let's get back to it. I think. I think I reacted to the trailer. I think so. Shit. Atomic Heart wears its influences on its sleeve. It's a graphic first person shooter packed with superpower like abilities and owes a lot to classics of the genre Bioshock and Half Life. Something. However, that doesn't mean it hasn't got many of its own unique ideas and surprises also hidden up that same sleeve. And from playing a considerable amount of Munfish's debut, there's a lot to be excited about. What is that? Atomic Heart lulls you into familiar territory straight off the bat, albeit in a very unfamiliar world. Its opening takes obvious cues from Bioshock Infinite's masterful introduction to Columbia as you take a leisurely trip through a peaceful, alternate history Soviet city. Thanks to the big brains at the fictional facility 3826, robots have been integrated into society and help relieve the public from everyday stresses and labour. The calm okay. is short-lived, however, as inevitably the AI turns not so friendly and the game begins in earnest. Uh oh. Oh no. From there, I've jumped around to several different points in Atomic Heart to get a proper feel of what it has to offer, consistently being Wait, surprised just... by what came next. It's did not the straight up corridor head? shooter some may envisage, nor a sprawling open world full of nooks to explore, or a puzzle filled brain teaser. It's all of those things and more. The scope of Atomic Heart is impressive, as you'll make your way through its many distinct and large sci-fi complexes over the course of its 20 hour plus campaign. Atomic Heart's closest analog hours? structurally would likely be Halo Infinite, an open world littered with mobs of enemies and linear story dungeons to dip in and out of. These dungeons are where the majority of main missions lie and comprise of learning more about the facility, the people behind it, and what exactly has gone wrong there. You battle through sections patrolled by rogue AI units before more okay. often than not facing off against a challenging boss. Atomic Heart isn't reinventing the wheel in this regard, but definitely adds its own flair into the mix. Greetings, comrades, and welcome to the All Soviet <laughs> Exhibition Center. What the fuck are you babbling on about? One of the first things that struck me about Atomic Heart is its thoroughly distinctive art style. It's a gorgeous game packed with lush forests, eye-catching oh architecture, and all manner of bonkers Greetings, looking machinery. Conrad. It's noticeably vast, endlessly creative, and frankly hard to take in all at once as you drive, <laughs> zip line, swim, and more often than not, run away from killer robots. These robots are each a visual delight to take in, but rarely are you ever given the opportunity to do so as razor blades, electric pulses and flying kicks are hurled at you with frightening regularity. Okay. They each emphasize the intelligence in AI, never shying away from a battle or afraid Boy, of showing off their varied right. arsenals. Of course, there are larger scale enemies and boss battles aplenty, Boy, both in linear that? story sections and in arenas across the open world. They often provide challenge and spectacle in equal measure as they unleash <laughs> one devastating attack after another while you chip I'm away at their monstrous health bars. Atomic Whoa, Heart is isn't afraid to switch up its combat either, frequently okay. flitting between frantic firefights against onrushing hordes Boy, to slower, not... <laughs> more deliberate melee duels. It's an exciting way to keep you on your toes and a testament to the work Munfish has done to maintain okay. balance. First and foremost, it's a shooter and has an impressive collection of firearms to back that up. These range from the relentlessly chattering AK-47 to heavy... I'm gonna be real. And, and, and sorry, you guys know I don't really pause it like this, but I wanted to say this. Bro, in all these little clips that he's showing off the weapons, you... They don't. They don't like they're taking it. They don't like they're taking any damage. They don't like it's gonna. It's gonna take two hundred bullets for each for each uh, robot to, to to go. You you ever you you starting to understand what I'm saying? In every single clip for the for the past thirty to forty five minutes, I haven't seen one robot die. I'm gonna be real. That's scary. Wait, RPGs. <laughs> Okay, then there's the more experimental end of the spectrum, reserved for happens. guns that blast out electric bombs to something that can only be described as a large metal pole that fires out whirling blades that carve up enemies before returning to your hand. On the whole, oh, shooting okay. feels competent, if not spectacular, fitting somewhere oh in between God, the rustic bro. feel of Fallout and the snappier gunplay of Call of Duty. Speaking of your hand, an essential oh. part of the Atomic Heart kit is the glove. 
a sci-fi piece of gear that grants elemental powers, using the electrified shock to halt mechanical foes in their stride before following up with a flurry of bullets is a surefire way of causing a lethal circuit malfunction. Uh, Similarly, okay. some of the telekinesis attacks are glorious to wield no, that's, that's as you nice. lift a group that's of it. enemies okay, into the nice. air before introducing them back to the ground with a violent thud. Oh my god. It's a joy to play with and even more fun to experiment with. Freezing an enemy before shattering through their brittle metal shell with a massive axe is always a good time. A stellar example of the hand to hatchet combat is one of Atomic Heart's earliest missions. You're thrown into the deep end as you're taught how to survive in the dark corridors of the there's, facility's there's a lot of different many ways to like uh, attack Atomic Heart like is that. not an easy game. It has been designed first and foremost as a hardcore shooter experience. Although difficulty options are available, it doesn't take many hits or kicks from a mustachioed android to take you down. Evading and knowing when to attack I takes imagine. timing and an but ability to learn and reach sort of your enemy. Die. Thankfully, more powerful charged attacks are signaled by a glowing red ring moments before okay, impact. Right. Miss it nice. though and you'll be on the floor scrambling for a health kit. This patient back and forth melee combat will be familiar to anyone who has played almost any action game over the past decade, but nonetheless, it's a surprise to see it pop up in a first person shooter. Yeah, it's much is. less forgiving or quick hitting as something like Dying Light or Far Cry, instead making each heavy swing meaningful no, it, rather it, than relying much, on a it, flurry of hits to get out of a sticky situation. I like it I like it. It's almost survival horror in nature, with Literally. moments from the aforementioned early level leaning into this. Its dark hallways are lit only by by the occasional flicker of light, and the oppressive silence broken by the sound of smashing glass, as bloodthirsty robots practice what they're going to do with your skull. As I hesitantly made my way through, okay. I couldn't help but be reminded of the first time I entered Rapture, Ooh. or some of Half-Life 2's scarier moments. Another Valve game Atomic Heart draws influence from is Portal. Okay. Not from any of its robot designs, but the surprising revelation that puzzles play such a considerable part. Oh, Test sites no. are puzzle boxes lasting anywhere from 15 minutes to an hour to complete. They're essentially abandoned oh, lab no. facilities uh -uh. requiring you to put combat skills uh -uh. through a cerebral exam. Uh -uh. For example, use your glove's no, no, shock no. ability to magnetize nodes, which in turn move platforms to help you on your way. The puzzles uh -uh. I've tried haven't been the most challenging, but provide a welcome we change American of pace here, bro? and come with the added bonus of granting valuable no, upgrades bro. upon completion. Weapons and abilities can be modified and upgraded no. throughout, a process that's essential in taking down the many threats. Robots are controlled Man, by a central AI that is always on the lookout no, for you. Not, Ways not of combating I. its glare include avoiding uh -huh. its cameras, you either too. by disabling them or making the glove perform its best gravity gun impression to hurl objects as a distraction. Make a wrong move and you'll quickly find yourself overcome by enemies as the facility sends them out straight from the production line to attack the more the alert level is raised. It really evokes the feeling of going up against an intelligent, you, aggressive global ecosystem that acts as a unit rather than occasional pockets of activity. Oh my the hours God. I've spent with Atomic Heart have left me yearning for more. It's an engrossing world to get lost in with dynamic combat and inspired art and enemy design. I have a few doubts over whether the main story will deliver a tale worthy of such a stellar location, and I've seen some heavy-handed writing and performances that leave a little to be desired. Then what? the nauseating forward roll animation that had my stomach churning on more than one occasion. I can't say these what gripes were ever enough to fully take away from all the exciting things I found myself engaging with along the way though. Robot Time will tell if Atomic oh Heart lives God. up to its lofty aspirations, but it certainly makes a very strong first impression. For more on Atomic Heart, check out this boss battle gameplay or a deep dive into a history of the game's world. Okay. See, no. See, see, yeah. Okay. All right. Let me explain. Let me explain. I would play this game, right? But this game is like a mix of like 10 games. This game is like a mix of Call of Duty. It's like a mix of a, of like a scary game. It's like a, a, a mix of, of like, like God of War puzzles. Uh, <laughs> like... Like, there's so many mixes you can put into this game, bro. It's ridiculous. I don't know, bro. He not nah, listen. I'll be honest. I was up for it until he said a puzzle gonna take about 15 minutes to an hour, huh? Nah. See, there's a thing called you, uh, YouTube. 
I, I just go to YouTube, you know, oh, oh, I'm on this mission. I'm at this part. Okay, let me boop, 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 boop. Yeah, you know, see, okay. So, I mean, if I'm using YouTube, then most likely I'll buy it. If I'm not using YouTube and the puzzle is that hard, bro, oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, no, no, no. I don't know if the game is uh, already out because I think this video, I don't know how long this video has been out. But, um, th listen, the game looks, the game looks fine. The game looks fine. Um, uh, I don't know. Just, this game is just, I, I've never seen anything like this. Like, the whole narrative of it, like, you're shooting, like, obviously, I don't know the, the story. But, like, you're, you're, you're shooting zombies, uh, not zombies. You're shooting, uh, robots. Um, I'm guessing, like, uh, that was, like, you, you're shooting robots. And, you, you know, you're, you gotta, sh uh, kill robot bosses and stuff like that uh i mean pretty cool I mean, it, it looks cool um i don't know i mean i guess i'll i guess i'll have to wait and see till i play it i don't know it's like before i buy something like uh well okay hold on it depends on what it is because i i, I bought 2k every year since nba 2k 13 so i was really about to say like before you buy something you got to make sure like it's you know like you know that you want that you really want it um, yeah, M my mind has forced me to buy NBA 2K for almost every single year, um, since, uh, NBA 2K 13, so, other than that, I mean, what I was about to say was just false, but other than that, this game is alright, it's alright, that's what I can rate, I'll rate it, I'll give it a solid rating of 7 out of 10, it, it looks alright, it, it, it seems cool, you guys know I hate the scary stuff though. If I get jump scared once or anything like that, you know, uh, just like the robot, like, in, like, the last minute, like creeped up on me and picked me up and showed his real face, robot face. That scares me. I'm not gonna do. I'm not gonna. <laughs> who, who do you? Uh, who do you think I am? I'm not. I'm not about. I'm not no. I'm not a Corey Kenshin, buddy. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna play scary games. You know, react to skit. No, that's not who I am. Uh, other than, that, <laughs> other than that, again, seven out of ten rating. It, it seems cool. Other than that, uh, I'll see you guys later for the next one. Comment down below what you guys think of this game, by the way. I actually want to see you guys take on this because I'm kind of, you know, in the limbo about this one. Uh, see you guys later for the next one. I'm out. And...